Hi everyone, welcome to a very special recorded Zazzle Chat. This Zazzle Chat is actually the first of a lot of big announcements that will be coming out in the next few months. And uh, today we're going to be showing you one of those big announcements as we work to make some really significant improvements to the site to really help you connect with your customers and give you even more tools to improve your experience as a designer here at Zazzle. So today we're going to be walking you through the first of these improvements to show you exactly what you're going to see. I'm here with a new face today. This is Tony. Tony, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what you do here at Zazzle? Absolutely. Well, it's great to be here, Liz. Um, so my name is Tony and I'm I'm on the product management team here at Zazzle. Um, and by product management, what I'm referring to is the actual um, the features of the website, um, of the products that we use, uh, not the physical products that you guys design and so on. Great, okay, so uh, on that product management team, you guys have been working really hard. Uh, what is this big project that you guys have been working on lately? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the, the project that we're working on now is the um, Profiles and Stores project. And um, really, we spent a lot of time over the past several months trying to come up with um, changes and updates to the stores and profiles um, to really sort of um, give all you designers out there the tools that you need to really be successful on Zazzle. Great. So uh, what are we going to be launching for our designers? Yeah, so um, the next big launch that we have coming up in this series is going to be a redesigned profiles, uh, member profiles, and a redesigned stores. Great. So is this something that's just going to show up for all of our designers? Are they going to get to try it out first? No, so uh, what we're doing with this, because it is a um, fairly large update, is that we're going to be rolling out a beta, a public beta. Um, and what that will allow you to do is to um, try out the beta on your store or your member profile um, before it actually goes live um, officially to the public. Great. So is this going to be just a little different look, some more functionality? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, for the most part, it's, um, it has all the, the existing functions and features that we had before, um, but we've added a couple of new features um, that we think you guys will like. Um, a lot of it is also a visual redesign, um, sort of uh, when you look at it, you'll see that it's visually it's very different. Um, we have a little bit of a um, different sort of feature architecture than we did before. Great. Okay. So uh, when we launched this beta to let our designers actually see the new storefronts, the new member profiles, uh, what will they see when they log on? Right. So the way you will actually, uh, the way you opt into the, the beta is um, uh, once this release goes live, uh, if you visit your store or your member profile, you'll see a banner on top um, that says try out the beta. Um, clicking on that beta will allow you to view what your new store will look like and um, as well as your new profile. Um, a couple of important things to, to remember about the new beta um, that some of, you, some of you might have questions about is um, the, the new store or the new profile will only be visible to you, so the general public at large will not see your new store. Um, any changes that you make to the store will be reflected in your, um, in your existing store on Zazzle. So if you update things like the description or um, the about or certain other information, those will reflect on the live version. Um, there are a couple of things that are different and new, for example the banners. Um, you'll, you'll notice that's sort of visually the biggest or one of the biggest differences that you'll notice. And uh, so what we've done there is you'll be able to upload a new banner for the new store, um, but you'll still be able to keep your old banner in the existing store. So you'll be able to run them side by side. Um, and then the last point to make on that is that um, you can actually flip back and forward if you need to. So if you try out the beta and you want to go back to the old version for a second to try something out or to check something out, um, you just click on the button, it'll take you back, and then when you're ready to go back to the new version, you just click on the button again, and it'll show you the new version. So it's very flexible in that way. Great. So if I'm a designer who's testing everything out, um, I can really take a look at what it will look like in the future, and then also take a step back and see what's currently visible to all of my customers. Exactly. And, and another real goal that we had with this beta was to give designers the time to actually go in there and sort of update their stores and get it ready and making, make it looking great for the official launch. So that once we roll it out, um, you guys are a step ahead of everyone else and you, um, uh, you know, your store is ready to go. Wonderful. So I'll be able to see exactly what my store and profile will look like once that is publicly visible to my customers. Correct. Okay, so let's jump right in. You've been talking about profiles, member profiles. What exactly do you mean by profile and what is new? Yeah, so for the member profiles, what I'm referring to there is the actual designer profile that you have on Zazzle. This is the account that you would use to um, purchase things on Zazzle, create products and so on, which is obviously um, different and distinct from your um, store profiles or different stores that you might own. 
Um, jumping right into the actual member profile and what's different, um, again, you'll notice visually it's just very different from the existing store profiles. Um, we've concentrated on, on really making these big, beautiful content um, banners on top. And um, you'll notice that we have a bunch of different tabs, which is sort of the, a recurring theme that you'll see through the new profiles and stores. Wonderful. So if I want to take a look at this new profile, what's the best way for me to get there? Yeah, so the, the, the easiest way that I've found to get to your member profile is simply by clicking on the little member icon right on the top navigation bar next to the cart icon. Um, that'll jump you right into, the, um, into your profile where you can, you, you'll land on your homepage. Great. So I see I have the ability to now have this nice big banner for my actual profile separately from my store. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like I have a whole bunch of tabs here. You want to tell us a little bit about the different tabs that are now here on my profile? Yeah. So, um, so the first sort of the default landing page, if you will, of each of the profiles is what we're calling the home tab. Mm -hmm. um, and the home tab is sort of an aggregation of all the different content that you have on Zazzle. So um, if we're referring to the member profile, if you go to your home tab, you'll see a little about description about who you are as a designer. Um, you'll see, depending on how you've configured your home tab, which we'll get into in a second, um, but you'll see a number of different modules with things such as um, your saved designs, um, any collections that you've created, um, as well as um, you have any products that you've sold, uh, the likes that you've created. Uh, and then on the right hand side, you'll see another section, which is what we're calling sort of the identity section, and that'll hold um, social, social network information, such as all the different networks that you're, you're linked to, um, some snippets and previews around comments that you've made on different stores and products, as well as reviews that you've left. So again, it's sort of a, a single page that sort of highlights all the different pieces of um, content that you've generated on Zazzle. Um, if you want to go through the different tabs, I can, I can um, start off with the My Products tab. Is this where I find my products that I'm selling publicly in my store? Uh, no, so what we've done with My Products is um, one change that you'll, you'll probably notice right away is that the My Accounts section um, is a lot lighter than it used to be. Um, if you remember before, we had a bunch of different tabs for things like stores, products, images, uh, and so on. What we've done is we've taken a lot of the content out and put them into your member profile um, using different tabs. So My Products is basically the Products tab from the My Accounts section. Um, but focus specifically on the member accounts. So the, the type of products that you'll see in there are either your saved designs, um, your private products that you have, um, as well as any products that you've submitted and are um, waiting to be reviewed or need to be revised or submitted. So again, this is different from the actual products that are live and viewable in your store, which has now been relocated to your store page. Great. So these, so by my products, it really means products that are owned specifically by me, the member on Zazzle, rather than de the designer with a store. Correct. Great. All right. So then we do have the stores tab. What am I going to see here? Yeah. So the stores tab is just, um, we'll have a listing of, of all the different stores that you have on Zazzle. Um, we've added some functionality to allow you to filter out the stores based on stores that you've pinned or stores that you've um, set as public or private. Great. And uh, can I access my stores right from this page? Yeah, so this will, um, clicking on any one of these stores will jump you over to the store page for that store um, and allow you to edit it and, and um, you know, preview it and so on. Great. All right. Uh, what's our next tab here? So the next tab is your likes tab. And this is basically a collection of all the different products that you've liked on Zazzle. Um, again, as for, for you as the, as the designer or the member. Um, the likes tab is, as well as uh, all the collections that we have has a privacy setting. So um, if you're not comfortable or you don't want to have that information publicly available, you can simply just select the um, settings button and change the visibility back to private. Uh, but otherwise it's a great place to sort of showcase um, your style and the things you like on Zazzle. So it looks like the next tab we have here is our favorite new feature, Collections. What am I going to see on this tab? Yeah, so the Collections tab is basically, uh, will show all the different collections that you've created as a member. Um, now the differences between this Collections tab versus the Collections tab that you're going to find in your store is that this one will show you all your collections. So um, I'm sure uh, a lot of you have seen in, in, the, in the settings for each of the Collections tab, you can actually specify a visibility for each collection. So what that'll allow you to do is, create a collection and either just have it specified to show in one of your stores or one or more of your stores. Um, so this place, uh, the collections tab in your member profile is the place to find all your collections. Great. 
All right, and then we have activity. What kind of activity is going to be shown here? Yeah, so the activity tab you can really think of as um, uh, all the content that you'll be generating as a member on Zazzle. So we've, we've combined a couple of different pages and sections. Um, and the main ones that you'll see, you'll start off with our reviews. Mm -hmm. So um, if you've bought anything on Zazzle, you'll see a page called Products to Review. Um, this will show you all the products that you've bought and give you the opportunity to review them. Um, likewise, we also have another page that allows you to um, see all the products that you've already reviewed. And lastly, we have a page for um, all the reviews that you've received if you are a designer and have stores. Um, one important thing to note uh, is that the reviews received, again, is for um, reviews you've received over all your stores. Um, and then lastly, we have a comment section which will show you all the comments that you've made on different stores, as well as all the comments that you've made as a designer on different products. Great. All right. And this looks pretty familiar, an images tab. Yeah. So again, um, uh, we've taken this tab um, from the My Account section and we've moved it into the member profile. Uh, this will show you your entire um, image library and allow you to edit and modify and add images uh, as you have done before. Great. All right, last one. Here's the big one, settings. Is this where I'm going to figure out how to configure exactly how I want my profile to look? Exactly. So the settings page is, um, is where you'll go to edit all the, all the different information that shows up on your profile. Um, there's also, we've added a couple of additional features. Um, so for example, on the social networks, we've added a few networks that weren't present before, ones like Instagram and Pinterest. Um, we also have an advanced settings section, which is really exciting because that's where we've put um, the module that allows you to customize your homepage. So before, um, you, were, you were given some flexibility around what type of content would show up on your homepage, um, but we've added a couple of new sections and we've also given you the ability to uh, reorder those sections. So it really gives you the, the flexibility to create the homepage that, um, that you want. Great, so this is how I customize that main member profile that a customer would see publicly. Correct. Great. All right, so looks like I have a lot of great new stuff. My profile looks beautiful, but I want to know where I can find my stores. How do I get to my store? Okay, so um, seeing as we're just on the settings page, a great, uh, great sort of easy shortcut to jump to one of your stores is on the left-hand side of the settings page, you'll see a drop-down that'll show you all the different stores that you have, uh, as well as all the different stores that you've pinned. So this is actually a great way to jump between member profiles and your different stores. So that's one, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is um, always to, you can hover over the member icon on the top in the navigation bar um, and just select one of your stores from the right hand side there. Great, and those will take me to the exact same spot? Correct, and those will take you to the, um, to the home page of your store. Um, one concept that we haven't um, discussed yet, but is, is very important with the stores, is the idea of private versus public. Mm -hmm. And really all that means is um, the, there are sort of two different versions of the store depending on who's viewing the store. So you can imagine um, if I'm the owner of my store, I will see a lot more tabs and a lot more functionality that allows me to sort of go in there and tweak products and change things and things like settings and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're um, someone in the public or you're just visiting your store, you will see a, um, a, a slightly different version of the store. For example, certain tabs won't be there, um, and obviously anything private won't be visible on the public side. Um, we've also made it very easy for you to switch between the two. So um, you'll notice on the, on the right-hand side of the banner, there's a button that will allow you to jump and preview what the public version of the store does, as well as quickly go back to the private version. Great, so if I'm editing my store, tweaking a little bit, I can take a look and see exactly what a customer will see. Exactly, so um, you know, we, we expect that a lot of designers will spend the majority of their time in the private version, mm -hmm. um, which will, is sort of the, the edit and the management mode of, of the store. Um, but as you mentioned, yeah, if, you wanted, if you've been making some tweaks to your homepage and you wanna see what that's gonna look like, you'll just click the button, it'll flip you over and uh, you'll be able to see that. Great, and I can easily go right back? Yep, you just click on the button and it'll take you right back to your private version. Awesome. So uh, this first tab here, this home tab, looks pretty familiar now that we've seen that on the profile. So what's different about this home tab? Yeah, so um, the, a recurring theme that you'll see throughout the, the, the stores and the member profiles is that this store profile is really uh, focused purely on just the store. So um, similar to the member profile that we just went over, um, there is a settings section that allows you to sort of indicate uh, the different sections that can show up on your home page as well as the ordering of those sections. Um, so we're starting off again with the about section of the of the of the store, which 
showcases you know who you are and sort of gives the people a, a quick idea of who um, what your store is about and then we have a number of different sections that um, that you can use great so is this going to be the first page the customer sees if they go directly to my store yes so this is the sort of the landing page of if you will of the store any links um, on the site um, on Zazzle outside of your store will link to the store specifically I mean sorry to this uh, tab yeah great all right so more importantly I want to see my products so what am I going to see on my products tab? Yeah, so the products tab is, um, is basically going to show you all the different products that you have in your store as well as any categories if you've created any. Um, this tab is uh, most similar to the existing store that is live now on the site. It should have a lot of the same, um, a lot of the same features and uh, we've spent a lot of time um, getting the migration process right. So what that means is when you flip over from the old version to the new version, we should be respecting all the different settings that you have. So if you specified your store to only show categories or just show products, um, that's the way that the new store should look as well. Great. All right. So uh, this looks pretty familiar. I'm seeing all my products and all my categories and mm -hmm. things like that. Am I able to view products from multiple stores on this tab? No. So again, this, um, this tab is purely for products relating to this store. Um, so it has all the same management and editing functionality that the old My Accounts products tab did. Um, but again, it's, it's purely focused on um, products for this specific store. Great. All right. And here are our favorite collections again. So what's different about this collections tab? Um, so this is, it looks very similar to the, um, to the collections tab that we have on the member side, except this is for collections that have specified to be only visible in the store. Um, one, um, one little feature that we've added, which people have been asking for, is the ability to search through collections. Mm -hmm. So this is something that will be available on both the private side and the public side. Um, so if you're um, like a lot of designers out there who have created um, a number, hundreds of different collections, this is a quick and easy way for people to actually sort through and search um, your different collections. Great. All right, and I see we have a comments tab here as well. So what comments will I be seeing here? So this comments tab will show you all the comments that people have made on your store or on your products. So um, again, a little bit different to the member side, but it's purely focused on um, the store. And actually, what we'll do is we'll take the, most, the three most recent comments that people have made and we'll add those to your home tab to sort of give people a little bit of an idea of um, what's going on in your store. Great. All right, and I see I also have reviews. Is this similar for just my store rather than what I'm reviewing? Yeah, so um, this is a little bit new as well. Um, if you remember in the beginning of the talk, I mentioned that there's a reviews received page on the member side, um, which will show you reviews that you've received across all your stores. Mm -hmm. This reviews tab will simply show you reviews that you've received um, for products in this store only. Great. All right, and here's what we're really looking for, the settings. Uh, what are all the different settings that I can find here for my store? Yeah, so um, this most of the settings in here were um, existed in your old store profile page. Um, we've added a couple of new ones. Um, the tagline is a new field that we've added for, for storefronts. Um, this is something that will show up right on your, um, on your home tab, on the header that, that is displayed across all tabs. And it's really just a one phrase, one sentence um, that sort of best encapsulates um, what your store is about and what the products are about. Um, so that's a new field. Um, we also have added um, the same social networks that, um, that we did on the member side, things like Pinterest and Instagram. Um, another new section that we've added is one called media. And media will allow you to upload um, images or videos um, that will be displayed on your homepage. So this is a little bit different than um, designs that you might want to use. This is really just more about um, lifestyle images or videos that you would like people to see to, to again, give, give them a better understanding of um, what your store is as a brand. Um, so you can quickly go in here, upload any images you want, any video, and this will be shown on, their, on the homepage uh, down the right-hand side. Great. All right. So I see we also have these nice advanced settings. Mm -hmm. Uh, what am I going to be able to do in my advanced settings? So the advanced settings contains um, most of the same settings that we had before. However, the big new one, similar to the member side, is the ability to customize your homepage. Um, 
And you'll see what you'll see when you first go in there is two different sections. One is the hidden sections on the left, and the other one is the visible sections on the right. Um, and when, what you do is you just, there's a little add button, and if you want it to show, for example, um, your categories or just your products or um, featured collection is actually a new one that we've added. Um, you just click the add button and it will pop over to the visible side um, and then you can also obviously reorder them to kind of show them in a different order. Um, one thing that I just wanted to note, to note while we're on this um, page is that uh, we've replaced the featured products with featured collection. Mm -hmm. So um, featured products for, for those of you out there that may have used that feature before was sort of a special category that allowed you to add products to this um, uh, products to this category and then specify that as the category that gets displayed on the home page. Um, what we've done instead is we've we've um, uh, improved that to allow you to specify a single collection as the feature collection on the home page. So what this 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 allows you to do is let's say for example um, throughout different seasons or different times or events in the year. Um, you can create different collections for each of those um, times or seasons. And let's say you have a uh, Valentine's Day is coming around and you have a beautiful Valentine's Day a collection that you've been curating and working on. Um, what you can do is simply go in there and you know, with the click of a button, select your Valentine's Day collection and have that featured on your homepage. Uh, and then when the next sort of event or season rolls around, you can just go in there and change that collection out to the next one. Um, and um, have that show up on your homepage. Great, so I can really quickly and easily keep my store really current. Exactly, yeah, that, that's really the, the, the overarching theme of this whole update was to really give you as designers the ability to um, add fresh content um, you know, as often as you want and as quickly as you want. Great, all right. So I see I also have an other stores tab here. Will that allow me to change which store I'm taking a look at to uh, change the settings there as well? Yeah, so this is um, sort of a quick shortcut that we've added that allow you to hop between any of the different stores that you have. So um, what you'll see by default on the left-hand side is any pin stores that you've, um, stores that you've pinned. Um, but if you are one of those designers who has um, a lot of stores, then you just click on that, on that drop-down and it'll show you all the different stores. Clicking on one of the stores will pop you into that store. Great. Uh, something I did notice back on our home tab, I saw over on the right there we have this little completion section there. What does that mean? Yeah, so um, some of you may have remembered that um, on the member side we had a um, profile completion metric which allowed, um, which was just sort of a, a, a helpful guide and sort of calls to action to, to um, allow you to edit and update your profile. And basically what that, um, what that meter tells you is how complete your profile is. So we've actually taken that concept and we've um, moved it into the uh, designer or the stores rather as well. And what it does is it gives you quick and easy ways to update your store to really kind of maximize from our point of view um, what the store will look like to the public. So um, it has a very easy to read and sort of big number that gives you uh, a sense of how you're doing on the completion side. And then underneath you'll see a bunch of calls to action that you literally just click the button and it'll tell you, take you to the place where you need to um, take the action that'll improve your, um, your, your, your completion rate. Great, so if I'm a little overwhelmed by all the new stuff, I can take a look there and see what I might be missing. Exactly. Okay, so Tony, thank you so much for walking us through all of the great new stuff with our new storefronts and our new member profiles. And thank you so much for watching. This is actually a little bit of a sneak peek because this is going to be launching live in the next 24 hours or so. So please keep an eye out. You'll be seeing that Try the Beta banner. I will also be posting to the forums and sending out some emails. And we'd love to hear what you think. Tony, if anyone has any feedback, comments, questions, suggestions, what should they do? Yeah, so the best place to do that is um, once you've opted into the new store or profile, um, you'll see a little banner on the top left that'll have a link to, um, to reach out to us and send us an email. Um, so please use that if you have any sort of questions, concerns, um, or suggestions about the new stores and, and um, profiles. We, we always love receiving your feedback. Great. All right. Well, thank you again, and thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to hear what you think.